Hi, I'm Doug from the Smarter Home Club. I'd like to continue talking with you about basic home automation topics. Today the discussion is about Wi-Fi plugs. There are a number of different manufacturers of these, but they all work the same basic way. And I tell you, there's no better way for you to get started in home automation. If you want to automate a lamp, a clock radio, or even a toaster, this is the tool for you. Now, this particular one is by TP-Link. It's the Mini. Uh, you download, uh, the same with any other manufacturer, you download their app, in this case the CASA app. Um, what you'll do is you'll plug this in, you'll connect to the app with your mobile, you'll put in the credentials you'll, you know, for your Wi-Fi, and then you'll name it. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but I'll go over this with you now. First, we're going to plug it in. And I'm going to plug in this lamp. It should come on automatically, as it did. I'm just going to turn the button off. Now I'm going to connect to the CASA app. I'm going to press the Add button. It's a little plus in the top right-hand corner. And I'm going to select Smart Plug from the Mini or Light series. It says Power Up Your Smart Plug. And it shows a picture of the Smart Plug with the amber light. I tap Next. It's uh, check your Wi-Fi light, blue, tap next. Now it's connecting, and that's going to take a moment. It's looking for the smart plug. We'll probably fast forward through the, through the end of this. It's asking for a device name. I'm going to call this kitchen lamp. Tap next. It asks for a customized icon. It's got a number of these. I'm just going to leave it with the plug. Tap next. Now it's going to ask me for the credentials for the Wi-Fi I'm using. Since I've used the CASA app already, it's got that information saved. If this were the first time, it would ask me to select a Wi-Fi network if I don't want to use the one that I'm connected to on the mobile. And then, of course, put in the password. At this point, I'm just going to tap next. And we're almost done. It's adding this to the Wi-Fi network. Now during the setup process, it may prompt you to upgrade firmware on some of these devices. It depends on how old the particular model is. If it's been sitting in a warehouse for six months or longer, odds are there's been a firmware update. Once it's done with the setup process, you should be able to use the mobile app to turn it off and on. And again, it's the same basic process no matter which manufacturer. You download the app from the App Store if you're on iPhone or from the Google Play Store if you're on Android. It's still setting up, so we may fast forward past this and come back when it's done. Great. The setup is complete. We tell it done. Now we can just tap on it with the app. And it turns the lamp on off on that simple you can also add it to your uh, your Google home your Amazon Echo it's a pretty simple straightforward process and then that of course gives you your basic voice control I really appreciate the simplicity of the Wi-Fi plugs you've got no hub needed it's just your Wi-Fi router you're already used to using that for your tablet or your your mobile phone your laptop whatever. And for most routers, the number of devices you can add are 250. Now that's stretching the, the capacity of the router to have 250 devices at a time. But if you've got a dozen or so lamps you want to turn on and you don't need anything more, that's all the home automation you need. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I hope you have a great day.